Hey everybody and good evening. It's me ending. I'm coming back really quick. It's not going to be long. I just want to say this. Yeah, uh, Rocket, I was sent a link. I guess you were on um, a panel today. And when I, when I was sent the link, I was actually in another chat enjoying myself, having the best time of my life. AK47, shout them out. You guys, please go over there and like, share, and subscribe. He has some very good content over there. So, no, I wasn't going to go run from what I was doing and enjoying myself to come over there and talk to a known liar. Okay? Now, the person that sent it to me did kind of just fill me in on a couple of things that was said over there. One being, you're saying that I'm the snake and I'm the biggest snake. Let me start off with this. Let me show you why your motherfucking ass is a snake. Okay? Hold on one second. I'll put it like this. I, it's a couple of reasons, and I want you to let me answer, and I'll shut up and let you say what you got to say. I, I'm mad at you, first of all, because within that recording, and I had to hear it again last night, even when you felt with it, whatever kind of way you felt about me, right, in that conversation with Carla, you was mad at me or whatever. I just felt funny, you know, it, it was fucked up for you to tell her to act like, you know, you and y'all ain't talking, and act like everything okay, but don't fuck with her. That's what you said. So I'm like, if he mad at me, I get, wait a minute, wait. Okay, right, right, right. Okay, okay, okay. You, I stand corrected. You said don't fuck with her like that. If you mad at me, I get it. But why tell somebody else? She didn't have a problem. Wait a minute, wait, wait, wait. Wait a minute. I know, but Carla didn't have a problem with me is what I'm saying. Carla didn't have a problem. You did. So why would you try to tell her? I never had a problem with you. Like you just said, I tried to tell her don't fuck with you. I never said don't fuck with you. Now what the fuck type shit is that? Like you said, I told her don't fuck with you, but I never said don't fuck with you. You see how liars talk? Did you hear that? So this is my example of you being a snake. And what I was saying in that recording is, okay, you're upset with me for going over and, um, or having a conversation with Carla and telling her that I had met you. So you get on the phone with her and now you're angry, right? So you tell her, you can talk to her, fuck with her. But don't fuck with her like that. Why would you tell her not to fuck with me like that? She didn't have an issue with me at that time. She didn't have an issue. You know why? Because we was talking on the phone, fool. So there were no problems between she and I in that moment. And for the record, I don't have an issue with, with Carla now. And I never have. I never had a reason to. But what I'm saying to your ass is why would you tell, and we could just take her name out of it. Why would you tell anybody? Because you mad at someone, you tell that person, don't, you can fuck with them, but don't fuck with them like that. Who the hell do you think you are? Not only is that snake shit, that's bitch shit. That's something girls do, not even women, girls. Girls do that. She and I were fine. Obviously, we were talking on the phone. You got mad at me, and now you wanted her not to fuck with me like that? See, that's why that you a snake. Those are your words. And then you turned around and said, yeah, I said what you said. You just, you, you just lie. Let me run that back again. Hold on. Let me find it. Even like this, I, it's a couple of reasons and I want you to let me answer and I'll shut up and let you say what you got to say. I, I'm mad at you first of all, because within that reporting, and I had to hear it again last night, even when you felt with it, whatever kind of way you felt about me, right? With that conversation with Carla, you was mad at me or whatever. I just felt funny. You know, it, it was fucked up for you to tell her to act like, you know, you and y'all ain't talking, act like everything okay. 
but don't fuck with her. That's what you said. So I'm like, if he mad at me, I get, wait a minute, wait. Okay, right, right, right. Okay, okay, okay. You, I stand corrected. You said don't fuck with her like that. If you mad at me, I get it. But why tell somebody else? She didn't have a problem. Wait a minute, wait, wait, wait. Wait a minute. I know, but Carla didn't have a problem with me is what I'm saying. Carla didn't have a problem. You did. So why would you try to tell I her? Never had a problem with you, like you just said. I tried to tell her, "Don't fuck with you." I never said, "Don't fuck with you." If that ain't the most stupidest shit, I ain't. listen. You just need to go somewhere and sit down and stop fucking talking. I have no intentions on coming back and forth up here. Beakering back and forth with you. The bottom line is you are exactly what the fuck I said that you were. Period. And it's all over the place. And then I was told, I don't know if it's true, you were trying to deflect with Tony. Really? For what? Tony said what he said. I said what I said over a year ago. Why are you trying to bring him up? Why are you deflecting? Crip walk your ass over there to those women and tell them what the fuck you said behind their backs before and while you were sticking your dick in them. This is ridiculous. This is not entertainment for me. This is not fun for me. And so again, I'm going to ask you to please leave me alone. You were upset with me because I told Carla that I met you. Nigga, stay mad. Because guess what? Two other women went and did the exact same thing that I did. Why aren't they a boatload of bitches? Huh? How come they not a boatload of bitches? I'm just asking. Because I've never done anything to you. To you. Other than tell Carla that I met you. Those yours. And out of that, I couldn't be trusted. That's fine. I'm okay with that. I'm not here for trust. You ain't nobody to be. Listen, I'm not even forget it. Listen, trust me. <laughs> no harm, no foul. Okay. I was cool with that. You jumped up for no reason. And spoke your opinion about me on the panel and put me in a pot with someone else. You didn't have to jump up there and say shit about me. Because I don't speak on you. The very last time that I said your name, I was repeating what you said as far as your innocence, even though I knew it was a lie then. I knew it was a lie. But for the mere fact that I did hear you deny it, I threw that in there. I haven't did no lives talking shit on you. You've been lying. My last live, you was going around telling people I was a drunk. I was a drinker. I played a tape. What did you say? I know. I know you don't drink. And, and, and if I said that, that would be a fucking lie. Guess what? It's a fucking lie, right? That is all that you do. That's all that you do. And you want to hush people. You don't want one person to say nothing to the next. It's not to protect the women. It's to protect your next move. Ain't nobody stupid. Motherfuckers just don't give a fuck. But please understand, nobody's dumb. Nobody's stupid. So what I told her. So what I told the other lady? So fucking what? The other lady told me. 
And then the other girl told somebody else, why am I the villain in all this? It got, what else have I done other than tell somebody? You that mad over that? Because what? What? You had your eyes on, on other people. You could have still did that if, if you was a boss like you act like you are. It shouldn't have made a difference who the fuck knew what. If you all are what you think you are, you shouldn't have to lie to several people. Lying. I got your ass on here saying how you lied to that girl. Telling her that she kept asking you and you just told her you, you didn't know what she was talking about. And I asked you why. And you was like, because it was none of her damn business. Say I lie. You need to cut it out. Like I said, this is not entertainment for me. This is not fun for me. I enjoy doing my stories, talking about the news, talking about mysteries. Okay? I'm not about addressing people. I'm not like the average page. I get up here and dress people a while out. I lose subscribers. I don't gang them. I lose them because they're not used to that over here. And that's not even me to do it. So I'm not going to be going back and forth doing all this stuff, jeopardizing my stuff that I worked for. I didn't have or pay for my name to be rolling up in nobody night by. I didn't have anybody shouting me out and that's fine. I'm not complaining. This is pride talking right now. So whatever I have, I got it from the dirt. I got it by networking by myself. So I'm not going to ruin it because people that are sub to me expect a certain thing on this page. And that's exactly what I'm going to bring them. And sir, it is not bullshit. I'm going to say it again. I don't speak on you. I have not spoken on you. And I would really appreciate if you would keep my name out of your mouth. Although I know it's probably hard being that you have my pussy all in it. Stop talking about me. This will be my last response to you. To the person that sent me that link. Thank you very much. Um, as I said, I will not be watching it. I've already made my statement. And um, that's really all that I have to say tonight. You are the snake. Why would you tell anybody not to fuck with somebody that you know that they fuck with? Because you mad at them. Why are you trying to get in between two women? Two women. She's grown. I'm grown. She and I are fine. You get an attitude with one and then take your, you crip walk your ass over there to the other one and say, don't fuck with her. Why? That's what the fuck is wrong with this shit now. That's what's wrong with this shit now. One person get angry and then they expect the next person to act differently because they got an attitude. Fuck your attitude. If you have an attitude with me, then you need to have an attitude with the other women that did the exact same thing, which is told somebody. Period. I don't care about you being mad at me. What, you was in the what, third, fourth grade when I was pushing out my first kid. I am not stunned. Okay? Please leave me alone. I will not be addressing you again. You a liar.
You have been caught in lies. You still don't have your balls back. And you ain't going to never get the motherfuckers back. You know why? Because when they was took, they was put into a safe. And then the safe was dropped into a vault. And then the whole vault was shoved into a volcano, bitch. Them motherfuckers is gone for life. Stop addressing women. You have men addressing you, calling you out. Because you had an opinion about their life. Go over there and talk to them. Why are you bringing me up? And if you're going to do so, bring up the other women who did the exact same thing. That's all I'm saying. I'm not saying I, I didn't tell her. I tell her, yeah, okay, and so did the other women. But you call me a boatload of bitches on the phone and all this other stuff, but on the back end, wasn't saying none of that shit. Get the fuck out of here. Anyway, that's all that I have to say. And um, you all have a good night.